Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have swatches for you from the brand Lindy Designs. I didn't know if I wanted to split this video up into two um, because it is technically two collections, but it does release on the same day. So I am gonna throw it all into one video, but I do have the Chocolate Box Quad, which is four polishes. And then I have the Michigan Mysteries Collection, which is nine polishes. In the description box, I will link the Lindby Designs site. I will link their Instagram page. I will link my Instagram page where you can see more swatches of everything from today's video. And then here on the screen, as well as in the description box, I will leave a coupon code um it is going to be for half off with the code and i do believe the code is only for the michigan mysteries collection so i do believe we have 13 polishes in total to look at and let's go ahead and get started so first we have bittersweet chocolate and this is described as a warm toned pinky brown with pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer this has a great formula. It does start out a little bit sheer, but I did build it up to full coverage in two coats. It's nice and buttery, very easy to apply, no running, pooling, or staining. The shimmer that's in here is soft. It's not like a blaring shimmer, shifty quality, but it is stunning. I also really, really like this color. It's like muted, but still kind of bold. You are gonna want some top coat just to bring some life back to this polish. It dries relatively glossy, but not super plump, and removal's easy. So there are two coats of bittersweet chocolate. Next up we have milk chocolate and this is described as a chocolate brown with pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer. This is probably my top pick of the um, chocolate box collection. I think this is such a cute base color. It's It reads more like a mauve than a brown to me but I do think a lot of that has to do with the shimmer. The shimmer that's in here is a little bit more vibrant and detectable on the nail. So here is our second coat, and that did cover well for me in two coats. If you're super picky, you might want to go in for three. Again, I do recommend going in with a top coat just to give some life back to this polish, but nothing is going to dry textured. Nothing will be difficult to remove. So there are two coats of milk chocolate. Next up we have Ruby Chocolate, and this one is described as a juicy red with a pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer. This one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat, but it did cover completely for me in two. I do feel like I have a tendency to have more thin coats on my pinky, so it is like a little bit uneven between nails, but it did cover completely in two for all fingers. <laughs> So here's our second coat and that did cover completely like I said. This is such a bright, vibrant red and it really has that glow from within kind of look that I really, really love. A top coat will help that shimmer stand out to its fullest potential and it will also protect your manicure and keep it lasting as long as possible. Nothing dries textured, nothing is difficult to remove, so there are two coats of Ruby Chocolate. And lastly from this quad we have white chocolate and this is described as a creamy white base with a pink to orange to gold shifting shimmer. This one is a little bit more milky on this first coat than the rest of them have been. Um, I did end up going in for three coats on this one just because it wasn't super even. I don't swatch with a base coat though so if I did that would probably rectify that issue pretty quickly. Um, but for the sake of this video and presenting the polish because it is absolutely beautiful, I am going in for three. I didn't have any troubles with running, pooling, or staining. The shimmer that's in here, since it is against a white base, is a little bit more subtle, but it is there and it is beautiful. It's just a soft, dainty kind of look on the nail. I do think this would be a really pretty wedding color. So like I said, I got full coverage in three coats. Again, I would recommend going in for top coat just to protect your manicure and also kind of to give some, give some zhuzh to this polish. Nothing dries textured and removal's easy. So there are three coats of white chocolate. Moving on to the Michigan Mysteries collection, up first we have Beach of Singing Sands, and this is described as a sandy taupe base with a blue to purple shifting shimmer. This is pretty sheer here on this first coat. 
Honestly, I do, there's a couple in here that are quite sheer like this and they don't build up to 100% opacity, but I really like having just the wash of color with this super glowy shimmer on the nail. I would wear this in one, two, or three coats and I think it looks stunning each way. I had no issues with running, pulling, or staining, and with these sheer kind of polishes, the main goal is that they are even, and this one is very even on application. I had no spots that were more opaque than others. This one dries relatively glossy all on its own. I do recommend that top coat just for longevity purposes. Nothing is gonna dry textured, nothing is gonna be difficult to remove, and this large particle shimmer is like my new favorite thing. So there are three coats of Beach of Singing Sands. Next up we have Eben Ice Caves, and this is described as an intense cerulean blue base with an aqua to blue to purple shifting shimmer. This one covers pretty well here on this first coat. It's such a bright, beautiful blue on the nail. I wasn't expecting that from what I saw in the bottle, but it really has this like oceanic quality to it that's just absolutely stunning. There is a note that says this one may stain. I do swatch without a base coat. I didn't experience any staining, but I didn't leave this on for longer than maybe 20 minutes. The shimmer that's in here is nice and glowy, and I've got such a soft spot for that right now, and I think it's absolutely beautiful. You will want top coat to preserve your manicure, and removal is easy, so there are two coats. Up next we have How Appalding Light. This is described as a pale ghostly green curly base with an intense green to blue to purple shifting shimmer. This shimmer is such a large particled shimmer that it almost reads as a flake when it's on the nail and it's so pretty, especially in this like light minty green base. I think it's so gorgeous. The formula is excellent. Two coats brought me to almost full coverage. I did end up going in for three. This also might be a case where if I wore a base coat, um, the application might have been a little bit more even and I may have been able to get away with two, but three is definitely a safe bet. You'll want some top coat to finish this one off just to preserve your manicure, keep it lasting as long as possible, but nothing is gonna dry textured, nothing is gonna be difficult to remove, and also I didn't have any brush strokes through this large particle shimmer. So there are three coats of How Appalding Light. Up next we have Le Griffon, and this is described as a warm chocolate brown with an orange to green shifting micro flake shimmer and added hollow sparkle. This is, again, so pretty. It reminds me of like fall leaves. Um, I know we are approaching spring, but fall polishes are like my favorite thing ever. So this one really calls to me. I got full coverage in two coats. Some of this can dry textured, so I do recommend a thicker top coat for that reason. That being said, these are flakes, so it's not gonna be difficult to remove like a glitter. So there are two coats of Le Griffon. Up next we have Michigan's Triangle and this is described as a gunmetal to red to purple shifting thermal base with intense pink to red shifting shimmer and added hollow flakes. I don't know if it's just my polish, maybe it was too hot when it was delivered, um, but mine didn't shift to the red and the, um, the red and the purple. It shifts to more of a like light pink and a denim. Um, either way, absolutely beautiful. I got full coverage in two coats. It read a little bit more sheer here on camera than it was in person. I do recommend a top coat for longevity purposes, though this does dry relatively smooth and relatively glossy. It's not gonna be difficult to remove either. So there are two coats of Michigan's Triangle. Up next we have Mishi Pishu, <laughs> the Great Lynx, and this is described as a deep plum jelly base filled with a blue to purple shifting shimmer. I again saw this one on the bottle in the bottle and did not expect it to look like this on the nails. This is a very pretty color, but this shimmer, it gets me every time. It's so like loud and glowy and just like lit from within that I think these kind of shimmers would look really stunning and like literally any base color. 
I did need three coats to get this one completely opaque. It just wasn't the most even of applications, but that just makes that shimmer stand out all the more on the nail, so I didn't mind it whatsoever. I do again recommend that top coat for longevity purposes. Removal's easy, nothing's gonna dry textured, and I had no brush strokes through this shimmer. So there are three coats of Mishi Pichu. Up next we have Old Presque Isle Lighthouse Keeper. I had to record that at least 10 times because I could not say it, but this is described as a grayed out denim base with a red to orange to gold shifting shimmer and added micro hollow sparkle. This is probably my top pick of the collection. Um, first off, love this base color. It's so light and dainty and like January to me that it's stunning. I love a shifty shimmer. I love the subtle hollow that's in here. It's soft indoors, but out in the sunlight, it is so gorgeous. And this shimmer stands out against this base color so nicely. This one is just like, the most perfectly executed January polish that I could ever imagine. I did do two coats for full coverage. You'll want top coat, doesn't dry textured, removal is easy. So there are two coats of Old Presque Isle Lighthouse Keeper. Up next we have Swamp Gas or Dancing Orbs and this is described as a creamy pink base with aqua to purple shifting shimmer. This one is a little bit sheer here on this first coat. It is buildable, um, and I will say on camera, I don't know if it's because this uh, shimmer is so, so strong or if it's just very close to my skin color. Um, on camera, it does read more opaque than it did on person, but either way, I think I personally would prefer to wear this in two coats. I did have just a little bit of nail line showing, um, but I think this is absolutely beautiful that way, so I did stop at two. You'll want top coat, removal's easy, nothing dries textured, and no brush strokes. So there are two coats of Swamp Gas or Dancing Orbs. And lastly for today we have Witch's Ball, and this is described as a smoky teal base with pink to green shifting shimmer. I really love a deep wintry color like this. The formula was good. It was a little bit on the thinner side, so I did try to work in as thin coats as possible. I didn't have any kind of like intense running or pulling or anything like that, but I do find that with these intense shimmers like this, if you work in thinner coats, for some reason, whatever reason, that shimmer really comes to the foreground, so I do prefer working in thinner coats anyway. Um, I. I would say you could stop here at two coats, but a third coat is really going to deepen that base color. I didn't have any visible nail line after two, but the difference in like the color between two and three coats I think is worth the third coat. That shimmer stands out nicely with no brush strokes. You'll want some top coat for longevity purposes. Nothing is going to dry textured. Nothing is going to be difficult to remove. And there are three coats of Witch's Ball. And here's a look at both of the collections. Up there on top is the um, Chocolate Box Quad. They are the more kind of subtle, soft, well, I don't know, not the red, but the more neutrally traditional kind of colors. And then the Michigan Mysteries is the bottom two rows. I think both collections are very well done, very well executed. There's something for everybody in both of them. I think Limby Designs really has their glowy shimmer formulas down. So a lot of these are like, wildly perfect and honestly we have a good mixture here of like soft traditional colors as well as more bold and loud colors and guys that is it let me know in the comments what you thought of these polishes let me know if you plan on picking any of them up and let me know what your favorite was give this video a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you'd like to see more from me and i will talk to you again next time